I've been experimenting having a small amount of beats post-workout on some of my workout days, even while on a ketogenic diet. And I'll come right out and say, first and foremost, I haven't been getting kicked out of keto, but I've been noticing some pretty big improvements in my endurance and my stamina through workouts. So, of course, in typical Thomas DeLauer fashion, I wanted to dive into some research. I've known that beats are powerful for a while, but I didn't know they'd work so well on keto. But now I have some theories as to why. So let's dive into some fun performance science that might level up your workouts. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button down in the bottom right corner, and then go ahead and hit that little bell icon to turn on notifications. And then after this video, check out Thrive Market down below in the description. So Thrive Market has a bunch of pantry goods, but they also have beet chips and things like that that are going to get you a lot of the effects that I'm gonna talk about. And you can also get pre-cooked vacuum sealed beets that can go in your pantry that don't have to be refrigerated. So anyway, after you watch this video and you learn about beets, you may wanna check them out. So there's a link down below in the description. You can get groceries delivered to your doorstep. Thank you Thrive for making all this stuff possible. All right, let's get into the science. There's surprisingly less carbohydrates in beets than people think. Okay, a three and a half ounce or a hundred gram serving is really only like 10 to 12 grams of carbohydrates. Now I know when you're doing a ketogenic diet, that's a lot, every carbohydrate counts, but that's not that much because that's all you really need to get the job done. Okay, and we're talking about allocating it towards the end of a workout. Now I've talked about in other videos, you can add some carbs post-workout on some days. You don't have to do it every day, but add those carbs post-workout and it can actually help replenish glycogen and generally not kick you out of keto if it's right at the end of a resistance training or a higher intensity workout. Okay, the cool thing about beets is beets are more glucose than they are fructose. Okay, what that means is they're less of the kind of sugar that gets converted into fat and they're more the kind of sugar that's gonna get taken up by the muscle cells and used as storage in the form of glycogen. This is a good thing. We don't want fructose after a workout, only a tiny bit. So beets are like a perfect little ratio of glucose to fructose, but that's a little bit separate apart. Point is, they're generally not going to kick you out of keto if you just have a small serving a few times per week right after your workout. But let's talk about what they can actually do for your workout because that's what's awesome. The main benefit from beets comes from the fact that they are rich in inorganic nitrate, which gets disassociated and converted into NO2, nitric oxide. This is very, very important and helps stimulate more blood flow and vasodilation. Okay, think about it like this. More blood flow, more nutrient delivery. More blood flow, more glucose delivery to a cell for energy. And if you're doing keto, think about it. More fatty acids getting mobilized, more ketones getting delivered because there's more blood flow. It's like white water rapids versus a trickle, okay? You're having more delivery. So during a workout, it would make sense that you'd have more performance, but one could speculate, I can't say for certain, one could speculate that maybe you're gonna burn more fat too because you're mobilizing more. Also, when you're working out, you're creating a lot of waste. When you work out, you create hydrogen. You also create inorganic phosphate as a result of producing ATP. Adenosine triphosphate gets cleaved into adenosine diphosphate, and that leaves you with an inorganic phosphate molecule that causes a burn. That gets buffered and then released. More blood flow, more nitric oxide, that gets delivered away. But let's talk about some other ways that this can help you burn fat too, okay? Now, this is a little bit of a stretch, but again, science is all about reaching. So again, this is a hypothesis, but we do know that nitric oxide plays a role in the development of new capillaries. New capillaries means blood going to relatively new places. Well, that potentially means that you're able to reach mitochondria for energy manufacturing that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to reach because you have more blood going to an area, therefore delivering more nutrients to the mitochondria, thereby increasing energy output. Okay, this is definitely cool. And on keto, that means more ketones getting delivered. Interesting new science coming out too, okay? We know that red blood cells pick up oxygen from the lungs, deliver it to the cell, and then pick up carbon dioxide, deliver it to the lungs, and we exhale it. But now we have found out, or at least it seems as though it's the case, nitric oxide plays a role in the regulation of the release of oxygen once at the cell. So it's like having a trailer that's carrying oxygen, and that trailer is carrying oxygen to a cell. You can open the small side door on the trailer, that releases the oxygen out to the cell, or you could open the big livestock panel on the back of the trailer and let all the cows out of the barn really quick, right? Well, that's essentially what we're theorizing here. Okay, you can regulate the oxygen delivery. So that means it could be happening faster, which backs up a lot of the science I'm about to reference from this cool study. So the Journal of Applied Physiology gave subjects 500 milliliters of beet juice for six days leading up to an intense activity. So 500 milliliters is a good amount. I don't even think you would need that much in my own personal experience. But the cool thing is this was about loading with beet juice. 
It wasn't about taking beet juice immediately pre-workout or something like some people have discussed. This is about loading with beet juice to saturate the blood with nitric oxide levels. Well, guess what? At the end of this, 49% higher nitric oxide levels in the blood. What do you know? Also, 19% less oxygen needed to perform the task compared to control. So that means that there was much less oxygen cost, energy cost, getting the job done with less oxygen because you're becoming more efficient and probably delivering it faster and more efficiently. And then there was an improvement in the duration, 16% improvement in stamina, in duration and ability to sustain during this exercise, during this workout. That is right in line with my performance improvement. I saw about a 13 to 14% improvement. Okay, I was able to get a couple more reps. I was able to increase my time on a stand-up skier rower. I mean, anyway, that's what I, what I noticed. So it adds up. Then there's another little piece that's fun as far as the recovery goes, something called betalanes. Okay, betalanes are in beets and they are a little bit more down the inflammatory pathway. So they stop nuclear factor kappa B from being able to bind. So what that means is downstream, you have less inflammatory response. So that means that during a workout, you might be able to last a little bit longer, but it also means you might be able to recover a little bit faster. It downregulates inflammation just enough to make it so that maybe you don't have as much of a stress response, but you still get the amount of inflammation that you need to properly recover. So beets are pretty darn phenomenal. Here's what I would recommend you do. Just a few ounces, about 10 to 15 grams of carbohydrates, maybe 20 grams of carbohydrates worth of beets. That's it. Like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, you can get like pre-packaged beets at the grocery store. Don't waste a bunch of money and time getting regular raw beets unless you're growing them and cooking them and doing all that. You can get organic beets that are pre-cooked and ready to go because you're only gonna need to eat one or two of them to get the job done. So you add one or two of those post-workout along with your protein three days per week and in about three or four weeks, you will probably have the nitric oxide level stabilized in your blood enough to really get you a big impact. But do your own homework, do your own science, do your own experiment, because you need to know what works for you. What works for me may not work, but the science backs it up. So I'm excited about it. See you tomorrow.